Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here doing another Innistrad 8-4 block draft. Uh, we've got Deranged Outcast, which is a card I've passed before and I think I did not give it enough credit. So uh, it appears to be the best card in this pack. Um, Undying Evil and Stormbound Geist are also very good. Gavney Iron Rite's all right, and Wake Dancer is pretty good too, actually. Um, other than that, some of these are playable, but not that great, and certainly not uh, first picks, I would think. But Deranged Outcast, let's give him a try. Uh, green White obviously would benefit the most from him, but um, there's humans in every color, so who knows? Who knows? Very rarely do I first pick a green card, too, so pretty rare for me. Um, what have we got in this pack? Nothing terribly exciting. Uh, Evolving Wilds kind of standing out. Um, I mean, Midnight Guard is fine. Crushing Vines is fine. Another Stormbound Geist, which is very good. Um, I mean, I could just pick the Evolving Wilds if I wanted to splash something crazy. But, um, kind of feeling either the Midnight Guard or the Faith's Shield. And the Midnight Guard is actually a little bit less exciting than the Faith's Shield, just because this is an uncommon, so I'm a little less likely to see it. And this card is just very strong, really good trick. Uh, Village Survivors is just not very good, I don't think. Um, I think I am going to go with the Face Shield over the Midnight Guard. Uh, I just, I like this trick a lot. Oh, well, now I kind of wish I'd pick the Midnight Guard, since we have another Faith Shield here. Uh, I mean, this card's fine in multiples, so I don't think I have a problem picking another one. Could also go Green Black. Deranged Outcast is pretty cool with Undying Evil sack a human and then make him bigger and then your human comes back bigger so just everything gets bigger that's pretty good um, but I do kind of want this guy in green white um, I mean if I have to force it I wouldn't like to have to force it but it's possible um, do I take a second face shield I mean it just straight up dodges removal and can also be used aggressively to get in there, but there's no good white picks in here. Rack with Madness is, pr you know, pretty good. I think I am gonna pick a second Faith Shield. The card is is good, uh, fine in multiples. All right, so now we have the choice of the Uvenwald Bear or the Midnight Guard. I uh, believe I'm going with the Midnight Guard since it's a human, so it works with the ranged outcast. But Uvenwald Bear is probably just the better card. Um, Hunger of the Hellpack is also decent as well. Um, how anxious am I to just go all humans for this outcast? I mean, Midnight Guard is good. Uvenwald Bear is very good too. Morbid ability is not irrelevant, but I think I do want to get some more humans to go with this outcast and all the equipment as well, so kind of forcing white here a little bit, but I think that's okay. Um, here, I think we'll just pick the Lamhalt Elder, uh, human on one side and its backside is fine as well, and I did not mean that like it sounds. Um, so we've also got Wild Hunger and Somberwall Dryad. Dryad, though she looks like a human, is not. Um, but the old lady is, so I guess we'll take her. Um, okay, so, God, just rack with madness for days, huh? Um, here we're going to take the Evolving Wilds over the removal spell that we would probably splash with in Evolving Wilds. Um, just so if I see a Brimstone Volley or something like that, or something off color that's easy to splash, it'll make it that much easier. So I think I'm fine with that. This card is just so expensive. Uh, I mean, it can gain you a million life, but gaining life does not win games. 
Uh, Hollow Hinge Beast is probably fine for this deck too, but I'm just going to pick up the Evolving Wilds now and then proceed to pick up any more Rack with Madnesses I may or may not see. Uh, Heavy Matic is a pretty awful card, um, but if I have all humans it might be decent. I really don't want to consider it here since it's horribly ex unexciting. It does appear that we're getting cut off in other colors. Those late Rack with Madness kind of tempting me to start picking red now if no one else has. Um, still some blue picks obviously being passed here. Silver Claw Griffin I guess is, is fine. So we'll pick that. Alright, so we got a good white pick here. Nibbles in the Mist, though not human, is good, especially in green-white tempo. Tapping down guys is very good. So picking that over the Ray of Revelation, which would be a fine sideboard card, but I believe the Nibbles is more along the lines of what we're looking for, for this style of deck. Um, I suppose we pick the Break of Day, although not terribly exciting, and nor are any of these picks. I think we're just going to go with the Rare on this one. Um, how realistic can I make Seance work? Exile target creature card from a grave. I always read this and it always unimpresses me. Uh, I guess with Nibbles in the Mist you could tap a creature. This is a horrible card. Uh, I'm going to take Hinterland Hermit. Possibly go into red, uh, I don't even know what red white or red green. Really getting cut off on good cards unfortunately. Um, at least in the colors that I sort of chose for myself early. Uh, I suppose we'll take the Curse of Exhaustion, the, I, although I can't imagine playing it. Uh, th that's ridiculous, actually. A third to last. This card is good. There's no reason that Near Heat Stalker should be third to last, but we're happy to take it. So, what are we doing? We appear to be doing some not very good things right now. Our deck does not look very good since we have zero pieces of removal and uh, we're going to need to pick up some stuff here to make this deck better. But Mentor of the Meek is a awesome start. Goes very well with our Deranged Outcasts since they're both humans and rares and reward you for having low power guys, which is typically humans, like this Elder Cathar. Um, which would go remarkably well with our Deranged Outcasts, but we'll see if that happens. Hopefully we can pick up some equipment too and some more good humans. Is this a foil? Or am I just... I think it's foil. I can't even tell. Yeah, I guess it is, because we have two rares, so... It's hardly foil. I can't even, like, tell on my screen. Uh, okay. So, Mentor of the Meat. Starting it off. See if we can pick up some good stuff. Well, an amazing blue pick. A good black pick. And the white pick that we will be taking, but is not horribly exciting. Um, but yes, Elder Cathar is the pick for us, has the best synergies with our rares. Okay, uh, Doom Traveler would be something I am, would be happy to pick up, but since we have zero pieces of removal and we just passed a murder of crows, I'm thinking we should probably pick the Geist Catcher's Rig. This has the least synergies with the rest of our deck though, which is a little bit disturbing. Doom Traveler is so good with Deranged Outcast too. If I'm going to be tempo, I'm definitely going to be needing some cheap stuff. This is actually tough. Oh, and we have the Prey Upon. I think we actually have to pick the Prey Upon just because we have zero pieces of removal. And this one actually is a good piece of removal for our colors. Picking it over the Doom Traveler and the Geist Catcher's Rig, but I still think it's right because we have time to pick up some more stuff. We're definitely competing with people in our colors though, which really sucks, but what can you do? I don't feel like switching out based on what we have already, but now black's open. This is just one of those unfortunate circumstances. Um. I think actually the Gutter Grime is good for our deck. I know I overpick Gutter Grime all the time, and there is a Selfless Cathar on this pack. 
But Guttergram actually does work well with the ranged outcasts since you can sack creatures and get tokens and stuff. I don't know. I just like Guttergram in general. I, I've never had a problem with this card. It's not tempo. So I probably should be picking the selfless Cathar, but these usually come and it's really not that great with deranged outcast. I mean it is a human to sack, but we're gonna go with the gutter grime. God, we really could go for like a butcher's cleaver or something like that. Well, I've got our red pick here. That starts a human. We've got the spidery grass, just get another trick. We've also got the orchard spirit, which I think is actually the pick since it's evasive and although not a human, actually a good card. So we're taking the Orchard Spirit. Um, going with the Smite the Monstrous, we have zero four drops and extremely low amounts of removal, so I think this is the best option for us. Probably going to end up make main decking it since we just don't have all that much going on. Um, unfortunately, I just sort of forced myself into green and white early, and those colors are not coming. I have the Evolving Wilds too, so I may have passed something I should have considered splashing. I need to start watching that a little more closely. I guess we're picking the Spectral Rider. I, I really don't like this card, but it, it is a two-drop creature with Intimidate the worst Intimidate you could possibly have in this format, by the way, uh, in case you were curious. Uh, Paracelini, I think, actually has more sideboard op applications than Ghost Quarter does, since there's a lot of good enchants like Burden of Guilt and Claustrophobia that you want to be able to hit. Samurai Spider is a card, but not one I really see myself playing. I mean, Witchbane Orb is a card as well, but I think we'll go with the Paracelini here for sideboard. So we've got a pretty disastrous pool going right now. Pretty just all around awful. Um, just a really bad spot to be in, unfortunately. Um, taking the Bramble Crush here, another sideboard thing. And we're just still getting cut in our colors. Uh, I suppose I'll pick the Spider now still like to make this work. Here we'll take a Cathar, one drop, a human. And we'll take another one. Not great. Not great. God, there's so many things we could go for right now. A Hamlet Captain. Um, yeah, what am I taking? I guess this. Uh, Butcher's Cleaver, Silver Inlaid Dagger. Um, what else would I go for? More Elder Cathars. Um, what am I missing? There's so many humans that I'm missing, but they would all be good right now. Doom Traveler, Mausoleum Guard. Um, jeez, we missed all the Elgod Inquisitors. We have, like, two sweet human uh, rares, but just no good human backup for it. So, in a really just tough spot right now. Just forcing an archetype that uh, is not panning out the way that we want it to. We're getting cut off in green, which is just not something I, I typically expect, but I mean, all the colors are drafted, so I guess we just this time around uh, made a kind of poor choice in what we wanted to go into. Who knows? Maybe this last pack will redeem this extremely lackluster looking pool that we have right now. Last picking an intangible virtue. Why would anybody, anybody in their right mind, pick a land over an intangible virtue? That makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Um, I don't think we actually have any tokens at all that we can produce, but, I mean, if anybody had gotten, like, Gather the Townsfolk or uh, Midnight Haunting, Lingering Souls, that card is so easily playable, so that really is beyond my comprehension how that could be last picked. Alright, so what are we hoping to get out of this pack? Uh, I'm going to be a little bit greedy and ask for a Butcher's Cleaver. 
because that is one of the few things that would bring us back in this. We have zero Avacyn's pre uh, Pilgrims, too. God, there's so many humans that I could go for right now. So many. Well, look at that. We got rewarded with a sweet card. And uh, look at all the other sweet, sweet picks we could have gotten. Uh, Governor Juggernaut's probably like the lowest one on the list, but Hamlet Captain is what I was begging for. That is not going to wheel. Uh, Travel Prep has a chance of wheeling, but not super likely. Uh, Ambush Viper I would have been happy with. Grizzle Outcast, fine, not exciting. Um, Geist Flame, if I still wanted to splash red. But we're just going to snap up our win con. So we do have a win con. If nothing else, we've got a win condition. So that is good. Could sure go for a, another Hamlet Captain, or a Mausoleum Guard, or a Doom Traveler, or a Butcher's Cleaver, or a Silver Inlaid Dagger, or an Elder Cathar, or more humans. Um, alright, so we just were past a Liliana. And I'm just gonna, yeah, let's, yeah. Not much to say about that, huh? I have, I'm the luckiest man in the world. I was past a Geist of Saint draft a few drafts ago, and now I'm past Liliana of the Veil. Vale. What was the foil in that pack? Or the flip card, or whatever. I, I didn't even look to see what was missing. I was too excited to grab up my Liliana that I will be selling to fuel these drafts. So, awesome. That totally redeems this entire uh, pool. Completely. That was amazing. Okay, so we get an awesome pick again. This is like a breath of fresh air, picking up this Uvenwald Mystics. Let me just make sure there's nothing else in here for us. Uh, Unruly Mob would have been sweet with our Deranged Outcast as well, but Uvenwald Mystics is clearly the pick here since it's just an awesome card. I love Uvenwald Mystics. So, happy to get another 4-drop that starts as a human. Um, this deck is... I'd like to say starting to come together, but I just, I really don't believe that to be true. <laughs> we're in, we're in kind of a, I don't know, we're in like the mediocre deck phase right now. <laughs> just kind of lackluster, which is actually surprising since we have really good cards like Deranged Outcast, uh, Mentor, and Angelic Overseer, all which go great with the green-white human strategy. The only problem is we don't have like the, the staples, we don't have the essentials. We don't have like the pilgrims and the and the uh, well. We got a prey upon, I guess. Let me, now I have to like look and make sure I even have cards that are good with prey upon. I was hoping to pick some up, but what do we really have? We've got the midnight guard, which is the best like early one. I mean, I suppose Elder Cathar is okay if we have another one out. Uh, I mean, the sad part is there's really like nothing else for us in this pack besides prey upon, <laughs> village bell ringer, but. Card's just not very good. Um, yeah, we're gonna go with the Prey Upon. Uh, doesn't look very good in this deck, once again, but it's removal, and we don't have much of it, so need it. Take what we can get. Okay, so we're, we're good here. We got the Doom Traveler, which I was hoping to at least get one of. Doom Traveler's awesome. Love this card. It's going to be great with our Deranged Outcast. And Gutter Grime, actually, too. And Mentor of the Meek, as a matter of fact, and Angelic Overseer. So, Doom Travelers are welcome in this deck. Uh, getting zero Mausoleum Guards is kind of a concern because I just love that card in general, but gets even better in a deck like this. Look how few two drops we have. Wow. Um, we're actually, I mean, if you don't count the Evolving Wilds, which we shouldn't anyway, uh, we only have 22 playables right now, so we don't even have, like, based on our picks, we don't even have a playable deck right now. And it means I'm, I'm almost assuredly main decking Smite. Uh, alright, alright, here we go. 
uh, taking the sentry over the prey upon uh, mostly because prey upon's not that good in our deck as I've said I only picked the second one because we needed removal but sentry is actually a human and one that works amazingly well with the ranged outcast and mentor of the meek and angelic overseer so that's kinda cool it's got synergies with all of our rares I like it let's take it it also fills in our curve a little bit I would have loved some more two drops but can't always get what you want this is definitely an interesting green white deck zero travel preparation zero hamlet captains it's like a human deck without the really good commons and uncommons okay definitely taking another orchard spirit um, otherwise I'm splashing what for a rage thrower no I don't like that plan let's try and keep this just green white unless I get like a geist flamer removal spell we're in a we're in a tricky place right now. I guess uh, deranged outcast with orchard spirit is actually really good. I like that. That synergy is very good. So all is not lost. How am I gonna make this deck work? <laughs> I gotta figure that out. Okay, do I take the Abbey Griffin? probably the most unexciting 4-drop in Innistrad, or the Ranger's Guile. I think we got to go with the Ranger's Guile. This will possibly let me cut the Break of Day. We also have double Face Shield right now, so now I'm kind of regretting... What did I pick the Face Shield over? It was a creature that I could really use right now, I think, but I can't quite remember. So I'm going to have to review my draft and look back at that. Well, look at this. Awesome. This is exactly what we needed right now. So, certainly picking that over the Outcast and the Ambush Viper, even though Viper is a form of removal for Green White, Hamlet Captain is just like exactly what I've been asking for this entire draft. So, happy to pick that up. Our deck's coming together a little bit better. Hopefully, we'll be able to cut one of these Selfless Cathars because I definitely don't want to run both of them. But I guess in that same ticket, I probably don't want to run all of these tricks either so we are a trick heavy low removal deck second rangers guy out now I think we need the grizzled outcast here we need another human another win con and one that works well with our double prey upon so I can be happy with that man this deck sure could have used a butcher's cleaver Alright, no, no, not going to be bitter about it. I'm going to be happy because this deck actually, considering how much we were getting cut early, and we knew we were getting cut early, but still forcing it, we've ended up okay. Not going to give it much better than that, but we are okay. Um, do I like Flail? It's good with Orchard Spirit. Is it good? I mean, it's good if I pump something up huge. It's pretty good with... I like it better with... Uh, avoidance creatures. I'm going to take the Knot of the Bone. Um, I mean, it's okay. That that Inquisitor's Flail would have been good with Orchard Spirit, but I just don't... Oh, well, we get it anyway. So now I'm super happy I picked up the Knot of the Bone. Not because we're in a main deck it, but because it is a totally useful sideboard option against your standard, you know, red-black aggro decks, or decks that can just do a trillion damage really fast. Uh, Alright, so let's start cutting some stuff that I'd prefer not to play. Um, neither of these are very exciting I guess we'll take the mulch stop the random spider spawning deck um, I'd probably rather play the flail over break of day hey rooftop storm that's going to go right in my zombie deck right I only have to pay 6 mana to make my 3 mana zombies free makes sense Actually, someone in my meta is abusing this in some sort of infinite combo with Burning Vengeance and Gravecrawler and Grimgrin, too. So, is that deck good? I don't know. I got a Liliana. I'm excited. Okay, let me build a deck for you real quick. Okay, so here's where I'm at. Actually, I've got to put in this evolving wilds real quick so I've got more white which means I can cut a forest 
for the evolving wilds. Okay. Um, this I don't know. I think it just helps with mana. Could also screw me if I'm like looking to top deck a land and I get an evolving wild. So I don't know. Um, I am gonna play 16 lands because we top out at five. We have, oh yeah, I <laughs> we have zero Avicennian priests. That was another card, another human that this deck could have used. This is a this is a strange green white deck. Uh, um, once again, we've got the awesome uh, rares for the green white strategy, but just totally lackluster, um, common and uncommon um, uh, set of cards here. So um, is that a big problem? Kind of. It's a little bit annoying, but. Sometimes you just got to take what you get. So what can I say about this deck? Our removal is limited to two Prey Upons and and what, a Smite the Monstrous? And that's about it. So on that front, pretty bad. Uh, we're pretty good at anti-removal since we have double face shield and a oops, Ranger's Guile. So that is one plus. These are actually really good good tools to have because everybody runs removal so um, although these are a little bit reactive uh, I like that faith shield with deranged outcast can just be like a game over if you're like okay sack these three humans make this guy 10 and then faith shield him and get in for lethal so that's a possibility um, I am gonna play the gutter grime over the silver claw griffin because I still like the idea of gutter grime with range outcast, sacking humans, and getting slimes. I also like if you have Gutter Grime and Mentor the Meek, the first two slimes draw you cards. So that's kind of interesting too. Um, most of all, I just like Gutter Grime. This, this card is very uh, underappreciated, underdrafted. I'm not saying it's the best rare because it's absolutely not. And I've had it, I've had times where I've had it in my deck where it's literally done nothing. But sometimes it wins you games so with a deck like this let's get as many cards that can win games as possible our sideboard is actually decent um, considering how bad our main deck is we have Bramble Crush, uh, Knot of the Bone, uh, Paracelini I've never sideboarded this card in I don't think that's very likely um, yeah I guess that's about it for sideboard so these three tools are pretty good God, what can I say about this deck? I don't know. You please wish me luck on this one. Uh, this isn't. It's not like the worst deck I've ever drafted. By far, it is not the worst deck I've ever drafted. But it is not a very good pool. I don't believe it is. But I will play it to the best of my ability. Um, and see you in round one.